Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can crop a video inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. So what we're going to do here is take one video clip and we'll make it so that that occurs in a transition so it takes a second or two for a fill video clip to shrink down into a corner. So on top of this underlying base clip, I'm going to drag another clip into the timeline. I'm going to put this on video track 2 so that it shows above video track one. So now if I go here and hit play, you'll see it's impossible to see the underlying video track one, since video track two is just covering everything. So with cropping, we can make it so we can actually see two of the video clips at the same time by taking away part of this top video clip, revealing the clip that's underneath it. So let's jump right into the cropping part of this video. In the top right hand corner, you have the inspector. So you wanna look in video. And then you want to come down here to this cropping section. So you may see nothing inside of it. You can left click on the name of cropping in order to show the settings for the crop. So if you want to cut away any part of this video clip, you can just take the crop slider of your choice and move it past zero. So this is going to be measured in pixels and it's going to pull away from the side which it's labeled. So crop right is going to pull from the right side inwards. Crop top will go from the top down. I'll just kind of show that crop left will go from the left side inwards to the right and then crop bottom will go from the bottom towards the middle. So you can see that this leaves a hard edge wherever the cut is made. It's as if you just used a pair of scissors. If you do want it to look a little bit more blurry here to kind of make it more of a fade transition between the background clip and the crop itself, then you can use softness. So I'm going to pull the softness over here and now you'll see that there's a little bit of blurriness here. So it doesn't immediately go to this clip, but it needs to fade in until you have the full clip being visible again. Now you can add softness in the opposite direction. By adding it in positive, it uh, undid the crop a little bit and still have the softness by having a negative value here. So you can see the original crop came to about here, but then the negative softness of 13 pixels pulls in another 13 pixels before we get to this center area normally. Now there's also a overlay you can use in order to adjust your crop. If you click over here in the viewer overlay section, you can go down to crop. And when we're here, you're going to see these different circles that you can pull on in order to adjust your crop. So if you pull on the top down, well, that's going to be adjusting your crop top. Now notice the value here changes whenever we change it with the gizmo and the screen. So this is just a visual way of doing exactly the same thing. I think the only setting we can't change here is the softness, which has to be done over on the right. Now, if you click on the corners, you can adjust two of the crops at once. So the top left corner is adjusting crop left and crop top at the same time. So unless you need precise values, I think the, the visual way of just pulling around here and getting it to look how you want is a slightly more preferable way to do it. So if we go to frame zero and hit play, we can see that the frame is still static. So the crop stays the same across the entire shot. If we want it to be in a different corner, we can adjust its position. So I could pull it over here and then down, but I'll reset that for a second. And if we want to animate it, then we can take any of these properties and then keyframe them. So if I want all of my cropping to be like this at a particular point in the video, I just go to the frame where I want that to end up. So let's just say two seconds into the timeline here. I'm going to keyframe all of my cropping attributes by clicking on the top keyframe here. And then you'll see all of the ones below it are now keyframed. And now I can pick another part of my video and change the values and Resolve will animate between those two cropping values. So if I go here, and then I set everything back to zero. Let's just do that, move all the slider bars. And then I take the softness and hit zero. Then we're back to the original video clip. There's no cropping here, but you can see new keyframes were added at this frame zero, second zero. If I hit play, then the cropping values are going to animate over that period of time. So let's play that back one more time, a little less choppy. And that's basically what you end up with. Okay, so in addition to that, we can also move the position at the same timings. So if I want to jump to the keyframe where the crop ended, then I can hit this left arrow here. So now we're back to two seconds, zero frames. I could also keyframe the position here. And maybe the position we want is going to be in the bottom left hand corner. But before I change that, I'm going to go to frame zero and also keyframe the position here at zero. So it's going to start at the middle of the screen. And now I'm going to go back to that second keyframe and actually adjust the value. 
and the animation will be automatic between those two uh, times and values. So let's move this into the bottom left hand corner. So now we can go to the start frame zero, hit play, and we're going to get a crop in addition to having a animated value over here. So obviously this video clip is still a little bit big if we want to actually see the background properly. So I'm gonna go to frame zero and keyframe the zoom as well. So this is gonna be setting the original zoom at 100% normal zoom. Let's go to where the second position keyframe is set with that right arrow. And now we can set the zoom uh, keyframe here as well. So when you already have a keyframe on any other point in a video clip, the second one will be created automatically when you adjust the value, like so. So let's go ahead and change that value there until we have it small enough. And because we changed the zoom, we might need to change the position. Since we're on the same keyframe, I just need to adjust this value again. And the animation between those two values will be automatic. So now if we go to frame zero and hit play again, we're going to get all three of those properties to animate at the same time. So we have a combination of keyframed cropping, position, and zoom in order to create a picture-in-picture -picture for the top video clip. And we're able to see the underlying video clip here as well. So at this point, it's just a matter of kind of cleaning up the values. Maybe if we go to this final crop keyframe, we want to lower the softness down. So I'll take that to something like negative 5 instead of negative 12. And so now we can hit play and take a look at how everything comes together. Does this create the kind of transition we want? So we might want to crop the image further. Perhaps there's just one particular part of the video clip we actually want to focus on. So you can just adjust your values until you have it showing what you need it to show. Change everything else to position your video clip where you want it on the screen. So hopefully at this point, all of you have a decent understanding of how cropping works in DaVinci Resolve 17. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you in my future video content.